Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MatTube. This is lesson number 11 in the examination preparation series for the first year engineering students. And we continue our discussion on properties of definite integrals. And again, these are more important questions for your exam. Okay, and as always, the five important points. And point number one and point number two are extra important. Make sure you're working out all the problems along with me. And one more thing, this is a continuation of lesson number 10. And that was actually a continuation of lesson number nine. So make sure uh, you watch if you're if you are planning to study properties of definite integrals start from lesson number eight okay so the next question evaluate the integral zero to pi x into sine x by one plus cos square x dx okay i'm sure you know what to do call it equation number one now what we do is uh, we have done problems like this before whenever you have x at the last stage what happens is that x will disappear okay so i'm going to apply the property and the property we are currently using is 0 to a f of x dx is the same as 0 to a f of a minus x dx in lesson number eight we even went through the logic behind it okay so let's apply the property so i'm sure that you know what's going to happen in the numerator x will be replaced with pi minus x and the next thing is sine pi minus x that is sin x by the way cos pi minus x is minus cos x but no need to worry because we are squaring that quantity and when you square this it is going to be positive so basically cos square pi minus x will be cos square x so keeping all these facts in your mind we can write the next line by 1 plus cos square x i'll repeat once more this is a continuation um, of problems starting from lesson number eight so if you don't watch those videos, you may not understand these problems properly. Okay, let's call it equation number 2. Now what we do is we add them up. So equation 1 plus equation 2 gives me i plus i is equal to 2i. And we have the common integral and you know what's going to happen. Anyway, I'll write that for you x sin x by 1 plus cos square x plus pi minus x sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx. Now automatically this sin x by 1 plus cos square x will come common and can you tell me what will happen in the next line? 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus cos square x this will come common i'll show you that step in a minute yeah look at this this will come common and the remaining quantities are x and pi minus x so you're going to get x plus pi minus x and finally dx okay so this pi is a constant it will come outside so 2i is equal to pi times sin x by 1 plus cos square x now you can be very happy about it because i can see the function and its derivative or not exactly the derivative but related to it and we did the same thing in the last video also so put cos x is equal to t so minus sin x dx will be equal to dt i'm going to put it in a box because uh, we need this and the limits Look at this, this limit belongs to x because the variable in the integration is x. So, I am going to write, what is the value of t? Yeah, cos x. t is equal to cos x. You can read from here. So, when x equal to 0, t will be cos 0 and that is 1. And when x equal to pi, 
t is equal to cos pi which is equal to minus 1. So, this is going to become 2i equal to yeah, pi is outside integral 1 to minus 1 that is the value of t you saw that and sin x dx is minus dt the whole divided by 1 plus t square that is it because the whole thing got replaced with this minus dt and uh, once more I will ask the question which I asked earlier what is the derivative of tan inverse x with respect to x 1 by 1 plus x square and that means integral 1 by 1 plus x square is yeah so we end up with tan inverse t t varies from 1 to minus 1 and by the way if you flip the limits if we make the limits from minus 1 to 1, you can avoid that negative. Anyway, I am not avoiding that. I will put it outside. So, 2i equal to minus pi into tan inverse minus 1 and tan inverse 1. So, the answer is pi square by 4. Okay, let us move on to the next question. And the next question is very, 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 very important. Whether you will be able to do this or not depends on how good you are in integration by parts. So, I think it is better that let us learn a little bit of basics for the next question. You have to remember this order to apply integration by parts. That is I late. I late I stands for inverse, logarithmic, algebraic, trigonometric and exponential. And integral u into v is actually u into integral v minus within a big integral derivative of u into integral of v. So, this is the formula for integral u times v. Okay. Now, you have to know one more fact. Suppose the derivative of the denominator appears in the numerator. The general formula looks like this the derivative of the numerator which we denote by f dash appears in the numerator. Then the answer will be logarithm of denominator. So, with all these facts, I am going to teach you how to integrate tan inverse x. Because only if you know this, you will be able to solve the next problem comfortably. So, tan inverse x dx, I am going to write times 1. I hope you are okay with that because tan inverse x into 1 is tan inverse x. Now, this is my u and this is my v. So, I think you saw the formula u into integral v. Okay. So, I am going to write u as such. And I am going to integrate this v. What is integral of 1? Yeah, that is x minus within a big integral. What is the derivative of tan inverse x? Yeah, 1 by 1 plus x square. Now, look at this. The second part will be the same. Look at this. You can look at the formula. Integral uv, integral v. So, I just copied the same thing. And of course, a dx. So, that is it. If you can... Uh, understand this part or if you learn this long back you will find the next problem really comfortable. So, look at this. Now, one more small thing. What is the derivative of 1 plus x square? I mean, what is the derivative of the denominator? It is 2x, isn't it? So, I can do a simple trick. I will multiply and divide by 2. Okay, so that the answer becomes x tan inverse x minus 1 by 2 log 1 plus x square plus c. This is how we integrate tan inverse x. So, look at this. I told you a secret formula. If the derivative of the denominator is in the numerator, the answer will be log f. Okay. Now, the next thing we need for the next problem is, the introduction is a little bit long, but I want you to be really comfortable when you do that problem. 
So this is something which you learned in class 11. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy. Please note these things. Later on when you study for the exam, it will be useful. And this will be equal to tan inverse x minus y by 1 plus x into y. Okay, that's it. Um, this more than enough. And this last formula, you can convert tan inverse x into cot inverse 1 by x. The same thing works in reverse. Cot inverse x will be tan inverse the reciprocal. Okay, now write the question please. Evaluate the integral and please mark it very important. Evaluate the integral 0 to 1 cot inverse 1 minus x plus x square dx. Okay, so remember uh, the first thing to do is, uh, look at this, before we start I will tell you. I am able to solve this problem just because I have solved the problem a few times. So there is a trick associated with this problem. In the examination, if you remember that trick, you will be able to solve it. And in examination, you won't be able to experiment with this question. If you keep on experimenting with this question, you may get a solution after maybe one hour. But in examination, you cannot take such a risk. And this is a repeated question. So whenever you have an important step, please put a star when you prepare the notes. Okay. So the first step itself is very important. You have to convert this problem into tan inverse. And how do you convert cot inverse into tan inverse? Yeah, just take the reciprocal. 1 by 1 minus x plus x square dx. And then what we do is, integral 0 to 1, I am going to take common in the denominator. I am going to write this as x times 1 minus x dx. Now the next step is the key step. So please make sure you understand that step. And I'm ho I hope you are okay till here. So i is equal to integral 0 to 1. Thing. Yeah, it's 0 to 1. Tan inverse. Look at this. The numerator is 1, isn't it? Now I'm going to change that 1 with the help of x and 1 minus x. And the denominator, I'm not going to touch the denominator. I hope you understood the trick. Look at the trick. I change this 1 into x plus 1 minus x x plus 1 minus x is x. Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can f see something. Yeah, a formula, a formula. Look at this. Can you read this from right to left? What is tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy? Okay, it's tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Can you see this tan inverse x? plus y by 1 minus x into y. I'll show that formula once more. Look at this tan inverse x. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. So I'm going to manipulate this and I'm going to write this as tan inverse x plus tan inverse 1 minus x dx. Um, I think I'll stay, stay one step. I'll split it into two integrals now. So that is the key step. And what you applied was tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy is equal to tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Okay, if you are a smart student, you will of course note these things. Whether you know these facts or not doesn't matter, but noting these things means a lot, especially when you prepare for the exam. Okay, so now what we do is we have two integrals. I'm not going to touch the first one, but I'm going to apply the property. I told you we are playing with the property 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx. That means the argument can be replaced with a minus x. 
So what I do is I'm going to replace this with 1 minus x. So we get tan inverse x dx. I told you I'm not going to touch. This is another key step. 0 to 1 tan inverse 1 minus of 1 minus x dx. I'll repeat once more. I am applying the property only for the second integral. The reason is I told you in the beginning. I solved this question many times. So I know this is how I had to proceed. Okay. So what I get is 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx plus 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx. What is apple plus apple? What is something plus something? Yeah, two times the same thing. Okay, now do you understand why I taught you how to integrate tan inverse x? How do you integrate tan inverse x? Into 1. So now I'm going to apply that trick. I'm going to multiply this by 1. And that's it. That's it, my friends. That's the end. So this will be 2 into tan inverse x times x minus inside a very big integral 1 by 1 plus x square into x dx within the limits 0 to 1. And that will be equal to 2 times x into tan inverse x minus, I think you remember the trick I did earlier. The derivative of the denominator is 2x. So I introduce a 2 and 1 by 2 outside so that we can apply the standard formula. And what's the standard formula? If the derivative of the denominator is in the numerator, then the integral will be log f. So it becomes 1 by 2 log 1 plus x square within the limits 0 to 1. I mean, if I want to be more clear, x equal to 0 to 1. Now that's it. Let's plug in the upper value over here. So we get 1 into tan inverse 1 minus 1 by 2 into log 1 plus 1 square minus 0 into something is going to be 0 minus 1 by 2 times um, that will be log 1 log 1 is 0 by the way so that's going to be 0 so the answer is 2 times tan inverse 1 is 45 degree minus 1 by 2 log 2 you can of course take this 2 inside so we end up with pi by 2 minus log 2 Okay, so that's it. Okay, we have to discuss a few more important problems. Anyway, I'm going to wind up this video here. It's again a short video. So I'll be back with a few more very important questions in properties before we move on to improper integrals. So till then, my friends, bye.